Aloha, Aloha. friends. <laughs> well, we're still in Hawaii. <laughs> we're still in Hawaii. See. Definitely still in Hawaii. <laughs> and boy, have we been having adventures. Oh my goodness. So many. <laughs> All kinds of things. Adventures oh, yeah. in the ocean. Oh, adventures yeah. in the jungle. <laughs> bah. <laughs> yeah. So fun. A lot of different things. We've been learning a lot too. We've been learning from some amazing people that we've been meeting. Uh, people with food forests. Oh, Anne. Anne. Oh, Anne Ann oh runs my. an amazing nonprofit called Malama Opuna. And she works mostly in this area, in the Puna district of the Big Island, but also around the island doing all kinds of projects that are eco ecological in nature and also is really into food forests and native plants. So we got to meet her and yeah. visit her food forest. We went to her food forest and there was everything. There were like, um, what what's it called? Lilikois that are super sweet that... Oh my gosh, Lilikois star fruit. Lilikois star fruit, 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 bread fruit, everything. <laughs> star fruit. And then we went to her place and had amazing all fruit meal. Oh, she said it's not all that. Uh, uh, the what's it called? She grows apple. cacao. Ma Mame apple. Mame, that's so it's my favorite. It's a whole favorite. adventure oh in gosh, and of yeah. itself. We'll try to introduce you to Anne at some point. We also have been learning a lot on this property here. It's, gosh, we've learned how to milk a goat. We've been learning a lot about different plants, about cane grass, about lava. We've done a lot of clearing here. So the, basically <laughs> the property was abandoned for a year and the cane grass grew up to It's taller than you, Dad. Like, <laughs> I'm so small compared to it. To so the cane the grass? The cane grass is like... <laughs> so we transformed the main section of the human part of the property from all cane grass to now there's all kinds of things planted. <laughs> Yeah, this place has been a great learning experience for us. It's beautiful. It's kind of what I would call way out in the country here. Um, the, our host family is amazing. Oh. They are incredible people. They have had so to amazing. completely... They are! They yes, are. They've had we to completely <laughs> lose their entire way of life to the lava flow last year. And now they're coming back and they have the strength, the resilience, and the positivity to re-envision a future for this place and themselves here. It's very inspiring. Perfect example of the resilience we talk about on this channel. Just going ahead into something that a lot of people would say seems impossible, but they're moving ahead and going after what they really want and what feels important to them. So we are running into some challenges here that have to do mostly with being able to run our channel and run the project. Because we're just, we're not, drivers and we have to drive way way out in order to go to foraging areas in order to be able to make videos you know in the other half of what we're about to share with you has to do with the ocean the ocean over on this side is gorgeous it's, it's powerful so beautiful the waves are beautiful to watch what do they do um there you go oh. wow I just want to say something this, real quick. Um, the waves over here are, if you're a person who really likes walking on a beach or just sitting down, having a picnic and watching the waves, we like doing that, but then we all want to go swimming. So, especially for you two, swimming on this side is extremely <laughs> difficult. Yeah. So, we've been making some visits over to the other side of the island where the waters are beautiful. beautiful. It's like swimming in an aquarium. So, um, when we're on this side of the island, we call ginormous waves, big waves. When we're over there, we call waves about that big, breaking about that big. <gasps> There's a big wave coming! <laughs> we like bathing and going up and down on them. Maybe we would like to say something. <gasps> yes. So, so come here and you go ahead and tell, tell everybody what you want to say. So, there's a beach called Kehana. It is a black man. And I really like it. The waves roll up on your feet. We had a visit last week over to the other side of the island. And there we went to a place called Ginger Hill. We met some amazing people at that farm who have a food forest. And he's uh, the gentleman there is a martial artist in many of the same kind of styles that I work in. And 
we made some great connections there, especially if we do decide to run some workshops. That would probably be where we do it. <laughs> Retreat in Hawaii, anyone? <laughs> in Hawaii. And two step. I love two step. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> beach. Over that's there. on Kona's side. Then it's we went awesome. over and we saw was the bed and breakfast that hosted us when we first came when to Hawaii. We first <laughs> and we had a really great conversation with them. And they let us know that they were actively looking for somebody who could help out at their property. So they've got a little place that we could stay on their grounds and we could help to beautify their bed and breakfast. They do an incredible, incredible job, but they're very busy. They're also raising a family at the same time as they run their bed and breakfast. And they have been looking for someone to come and help them basically do landscaping. They have a place where we can plant gardens um, as part of our project. And they already actually have quite a number of different um, edible plants on their property. So we have decided to give that a try. The beautiful thing about this property is that they are giving us a portion of the land that we can basically do whatever we want with. <laughs> so we can plant gardens and some food for us and really get some great food things going. But there's also things on the land already existing. There's ulu or breadfruit, there's mango, there's, there's macadamia nuts. Yeah, all kinds of plants that we can already learn and explore and eat from while we do our project. And the other thing I like about this is that it's a little bit more urban. And we're often talking to you guys about, hey, if you're not out in the middle of the wilderness, like we were before. Yeah. <laughs> when we were in Wisconsin. <laughs> totally we definitely out had in access the middle. to wilderness. But here it's more it's more urban, but it it's a chance for us to show how even in a more urban area you can take a small piece of land and you can do amazing things with it as far as getting sustenance and planting native plants for pollinators and really making the land a place that benefits humans, animals, the planet, instead of just having a mowed lawn. So we're really excited to take you with us on this next part of our yes. adventure. This is going to be a transition again, of course. So we started out here in this beautiful place. We are going to miss the people especially. We're going to miss the wide open sky. We're going to miss the wide open ocean that we get to look at every day and just being out in the country. But we feel this is the right decision. We're going to have internet. We're going to be able to connect with you guys again on a regular basis. And we're not going to be spending so much time in the car back and forth just trying to provide for those basic needs that allow us to run the YouTube channel. Hopefully, as soon as we get there, I'll be popping out as many videos as I can because it's an awesome place to do videos and I'm super excited. She hasn't been able to do any on her channel. Well, since I know, we it's so hard. We've been pretty maxed so out. So I really bad want to do more videos and hopefully there'll be some oceaning ones, especially since we're on that side. Uh, in the meantime, while you're waiting for us to get over there and we're having kind of a lag between videos, please share with us times in your life that you have made a big transition, ways that you've found to transform where you are or to find the beauty in the place that you're in, whether it is in the country or it is in the city. Just share a little bit with us. We want to hear from you. All right, my friends. Aloha. Aloha and Aloha love. And share love. in the comments your thoughts regarding Rebecca's question and as usual right now until we have that internet connection please be patient with us as far yes. as responses it's really tough for us to keep up with everything but we will do our best we are thinking of yes. love to you all Aloha.